Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing a fan art of a YouTuber that I, that I started following a couple months back. Her name is Play With Moxie and I will be linking um, her channel in the description of this video. I'm also going to be sharing like a clip that I, um, that I snatched from one of her live streams. Um, but let's just like delve into how this fan art came to be <laughs> the birth of it right like so she plays a lot of cozy games and one of the games that she plays is Palea and then currently Palea is, is in like open beta right now and so she's got like 20 something videos that she's like live streamed already and it's all in one big long playlist so if you're into Palea you should go check it out it's really fun to sit through um, and she does nice long like Live streams like they be getting into like two to three hours in length so if you're like me and you just like to have something like long to listen to throughout your day or during your chores or while you're at work this channel is like perfect you know um she's got a wonderful personality she's an older gamer she's in her like 50s and um she's just really fun and she's not too serious and she's very um welcoming she's she's got like mom vibes like i love it <laughs> you know <laughs> she just makes you feel very good about yourself you know she's a very kind lady um so anyways oh. One day she was playing Paleo and I'm in the live and usually I listen and every now and then I'll get distracted and start typing but um, I'm listening to the live and on this day they got these like new dresses right so her and her friends are all putting on these dresses and I hear it and I pop over and I look at the stream and they look adorable right like these lolita style springy ruffly dresses and each one's got like a different color on there's like five uh people all dressed up and I'm in the chat and I'm like I want to draw you guys in these dresses and they were like yeah let's do it so they all go down to the square and they line up <laughs> and um, they're all jumping and they have these axes right because like for like chopping trees or whatever it is that they chop with the axes and um, so they're swinging their axes they look like little murder dolls <laughs> And it's just so funny like I was just like getting the biggest kick out of it everyone in the chat is just loving this vibe <laughs> it's so creepy that that worked but yeah let's do next day and captain too because we want Meg to have a lot to work with for her drawing <laughs> thank you oh this is so our next thumbnail I don't know the title yet <laughs> There's people watching. I didn't really. <laughs> what chocolate law tastes like? I don't know these people. I don't know any of these people at all. <clears throat> oh, axe out. Sorry, I forgot the axe out. <clears throat> oh no! You guys laughed in sync. That's hilarious. I shouldn't be standing forward. Okay, I'm gonna go down below and fish. I want to get the key for Wrath's box. I still have to be serious about the stream now, y'all. <laughs> I do need one of these with the axe, though. <laughs> I have to have one with the axes. Oh, that laugh was so creepy! Oh, Aunt Captain's pointing and la pointing. We've got laughing, we've got axes. So good. Okay, that's enough of those. I gotta stop. We'll be here all day. <laughs> oh, I need somebody with the really high-pitched, creepy laugh. The daytime shots are so good. One, two, three, everyone jump. <laughs> okay, I gotta go fish.
they let me get like some screenshots of them and um, when I told her I said like, okay I'm down I got plenty to work with you know and then she went on about her business you know and I was really grateful for it and I told her I said I'll be like doing this over the weekend give me a couple of days well <laughs> I shouldn't have said anything because it did not happen it's been a month okay I sat on it for a whole month I've done I've done like five other things since then <laughs> <laughs> including procrastinating <laughs> and it's funny because even this drawing came from procrastinating because I was in the middle of trying to do some line art on my Pokemon piece and it's just so overwhelming and I was like I don't even want to do this right now this is so tedious <laughs> What can I do instead? Oh yeah, that's right. I was supposed to be drawing Moxie and her friends like forever ago. So that's how that came about. And um, I pulled up all the screenshots, you know, and getting them all together, getting organized. And I just started sketching. And um, the characters in Palea are like more lifelike as far as their anatomy goes and you know they're still kind of cartoony but think like disney's dream like valley kind of like style a little bit they got like the big eyes and they're really cute but i didn't want to draw them lifelike i didn't i'm not going to go from something that's tedious to something else that is also tedious so um switching gears i decided to draw them more like chibi style you know um but what i not not only did I play around with like the style but I wanted to play around with like the poses you know because like they're all wielding these axes and they got these like pretty dresses and stuff and I wanted to give each character their own unique personality and I wanted that to translate in the art so you know you got moxie right in the middle leader of the gang and she's jumping and she's got this axe above her head and she just looks kind of manic <laughs> And then like, um, forgive me, <laughs> in the clip that I played, like you can see all their names above their heads. So I don't remember off the top of my head who was who, <laughs> but um, I'm just going to go off colors. Okay. So like the purple and black one to the right of Moxie, if you're looking at the screen, like um, I, I wanted to kind of play on like, she's wearing glasses and you know, I just wanted her to feel a little more malicious and stuff. So, um, she's swinging her axe forward and I tried to give her like this, like really badass kind of vibe, you know? And then the girl in the dusty rose dress off in the back with like the diamond eyes, <laughs> very anime, <laughs> just kind of back there <laughs> looking crazy. <laughs> And then off to the left, you've got the girl swinging her axe and her arm is going totally like her whole body is twisting in the opposite direction of the purple one, which I thought made for like a good like composition for the picture, you know, a little bit of asymmetry. And um, <laughs> I love the face I put on her. <laughs> they all do be looking malicious, like every single one of them. <laughs> I, didn't, I don't even think I think Moxie is the only one I gave like actual eyeballs to maybe the chick in the gray dress too but she's got like a side profile and hers is a little more like depressing looking um so her side eye is actually drawn in but all the other ones like oh girls wearing glasses one girl's got diamond eyes and this chick's eyes are like Brock <laughs> like Brock from Pokemon like they close you don't want them to open laser beams might shoot out who knows <laughs> you know <laughs> so anyway I had a lot of fun I loved the sketching process everything's just really loose no this is not like my best work you know what I mean but um it's not about how good or bad it is visually for me like yes when I draw a really good piece and I am really really proud of it like you know I'm, I want to voice that and I want to acknowledge that I feel good about that this isn't that kind of piece it's just meant to be fun and so yeah the, the sketching was loose and um, I played around with like the shapes the poses and I loved coloring it like that was really fun the whole thing took me about 
shoot, maybe four hours, almost five hours total. So when I get in there, I'm going to have to like edit quite a bit down, cut quite a bit out just to get it to fit into this audio clip. <laughs> A long time ago, I, I, I learned if I record my audio first, it's easier to edit the clips down to match the audio than it is to edit the video first and then try to match my audio to it instead. Like, you know, the, the backwards, like that was way too hard because I'm overly paranoid looking at the timer as I'm recording my audio clips and I'm just like, Oh, I don't have anything else to say and I've still got three minutes to fill in. You know what I mean? How are you guys doing? <laughs> Good, I hope. <laughs> but doing it this way, I can talk for as long as I want without like feeling any anxiety about it. I can talk for two minutes. I can talk for 20 minutes. I don't care. I'm going to say whatever I feel like saying in the moment and then I'll edit my video to match and it's just so much nicer it's it's more relaxing doing it this way so anyway yeah we need to get in there and um edit the clips down and hopefully i'll get this thing posted either tonight or tomorrow we'll see we'll see what happens but yeah and <laughs> i think this is just perfect for october too it's like the theme and then i didn't necessarily know what to do with the background so i just kind of like went with blood splatter but it fits it fits so well and the whole um drawing it's got like it's really cute it's really fun it's quirky and uh, at the same time it's like menacing and serious it's so halloween it's so october i'm digging it um after this what's my next project i'll be doing the farm art challenge at dina tollison announced a couple of days ago if you're an artist and you like to draw and like to do fun challenges um go check dina tullifson out um she's got another one and the deadline for it is november 3rd so you've got plenty of time to come up with something um and it's not just art like it's not just drawing and painting like you can sculpt something you can do like photography you can make a an artistic video you can do whatever you want as long as it's like farm themed you know and um she's she's got a lot of like open-mindedness when it comes to the challenges and she'll take your video and she'll put it all in one playlist and it's a great way to find other artists especially smaller creators on the platform to mingle to socialize to just connect in a way that we all understand as artists like we all love it you know so um, I love seeing other people's artwork um, of course I have to shout out Dina <laughs> I love Dina <laughs> Um, so yeah, also I'm like really excited to see what she does because you know, she does that daubism and um, so where you take like globs of thick paint and you make like dabs on the painting to help the piece look really textured and more three-dimensional and surreal. It's just so beautiful. Um, one of these days, man, I want to do something like that deep down I think it has a lot to do with like conservatism like <laughs> I want to conserve my product I don't want to like glob a whole bunch of it onto my canvas because I feel like personally that I might be wasting it <laughs> so I have to get past that insecurity that I've built up about wasting materials so that I can relax and actually do it without worrying if I'm wasting my money or not <laughs> you know so that's just a me thing it's not that i like or dislike the style it's just a me thing holding myself back that's all that is um so anyway um yeah so that's gonna be the farm art challenge and then i have to finish this silly pokemon piece i just man i've got the initial sketch done it looks really good i like how it's turning out it's just the lining process that i just I don't, i'm not looking forward to it and I don't even know exactly how I want to do it yet. Do I want to do thick lines, thin lines? Like, I don't know. And every time I get started on it, like, I get, like, maybe 10 minutes in and I'm just like, Ugh. And I just, <laughs> I just shut it down. I just shut it down and walk away. <laughs> like, <laughs> I, it's not that I'm doing it for anything in particular. I'm, <laughs> I'm going to print it out on a giant canvas and stick it in my kid's bathroom. Like, <laughs> it's not that important. <laughs> I don't even know, man. <laughs> 
maybe I shouldn't even line it. Maybe I should just color it without the line art. I don't know. Try something different. Anyways. All right. Well, I'm going to let you guys go. I hope y'all are having a great day. And I will catch you on the next one. See ya.